What's going on? JD here. I've got another motion tutorial for you. And this time is something a little different because we are going to create a title for a 360 video. Some of you out there are probably already creating 360 video. A lot more people are gonna jump onto the 360 train with the addition of things like the GoPro Fusion, which has some great 360 footage. So unlike other videos, you have to edit them a little different. Motion has now added the capacity, along with Final Cut Pro, that you can edit your 360 video. So the nice thing is you can do motion titles just like you've always done them. And we're just gonna quickly go through, we're gonna take some 360 video that we have, we're gonna import it into motion. We're gonna do a quick title and show you how to get it done. All right, jumping right into it, we open up motion. We're gonna start a new motion project. And of course, we're gonna select 360 video. We're gonna select 4K. The video that I'm gonna be using for this is two minutes long, so we're gonna increase our timeline to 120. You don't have to do that normally. You can make it however long you want for your titles, but we're just gonna do that because we're gonna import the footage, just so you guys can basically see what's going on. So as you can see, we've got two windows, we've got the 360 look around, and we've got the 360 overview, and you will see how both those look when we import our footage here. So we're gonna import our footage, so import, and we've got an mp4 format and there you go we've got the waterfalls and if we click and hold the mouse here and move it around you can see we can actually change the view and if you look at the overview on the other side it just shows you the whole panoramic view and if we start the video up here you can see nice little waterfall and you can look all over the cave not just left and right you can look up and down as well but essentially that is what it's going to look like so what we're going to do if you click on it we move it over here and just double click there it will recenter it so this is where the video is going to start off so we're going to click on the text and we're just going to type in our text so we're just going to type in crystal falls and then we're going to basically change the properties we're going to make it much much larger we'll just move the slider right over so because it's white you're not going to see it very well so we're going to have to make some changes here so we're just going to make this a bit larger so essentially that we can see it a little bit better. You can see if we make it really, really big, if you take a look at the 360 overview, you'll see it will actually curve it with the video. So it runs flat. So it'll look flat on the screen, but it's actually quite curved. And that's just to do with the way that the 360 video is rendered. So we're gonna change the appearance now because we're gonna to have to put an outline or it's not gonna be seen. We're just gonna make our outline black and then we're going to maximize the width here because the text is quite large. And there you go, you can see again on both different viewpoints, whether it's the overview or for the 360 video. And we'll just show you, see as you turn here, you can see it remains flat to the background, sort of where the camera angle would be. And if you look at the overview, it's actually curved. So that's that's how it deals with the text in there. But it looks quite good. The nice thing about being able to put it, especially having that center button, is that your title will be right there. If you put it somewhere else in the video, people will have to look around and find it. Uh, so that's not going to be a big thing. So we're gonna reduce this down again. So we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. And we're just gonna slap it kind of right in the middle. And that's probably a good size. So we got Crystal Falls. I've got it centered and centered. So there we go. And as you see, as we manipulate the video, it doesn't move. It looks good. So we're gonna reduce this down because we don't wanna run it the whole video. This is just to basically show you how we can deal with the footage. So we've got it run right down. So we're gonna basically add something. We'll add, we'll say bounce in. 
and you will see it just bounces right in. It just falls right in. Uh, it's kind of a little abrupt for my liking. So we're going to try something different. We're going to try dripping, seeing as it's a waterfall. So there you go. There you go. It kind of drips in. That's all right. We'll stick with that. And then, of course, we're going to want to have it drip out. So we're going to select drip out. And then we're going to move that so it goes towards the end of it. So now it should drip in. And then play for a while. So there you have it dripping out. So the text here, we're just going to change the glow. Because I'm not a fan of that color, I want it to look more like the waterfall. We're going to change it to white. So this should change the properties enough that basically when it drops out, it's going to be white, more like the falls. I mean, it's whatever you want to do. So yeah, it looks a little more like the falls there. It's a little more with the content. So if we show it again, this time at a different angle, you will see it drips out. It looks just as good going out. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to create a title for a 360 degree video in motion. I mean, you're gonna use all the tricks and tips that you've used in the past. If it looks a bit different, just understanding those controls is gonna be a great help. I look forward to seeing all the videos that you guys create and utilize this information to make sure that your videos are a step ahead. Until next time, see ya. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that kind of good stuff.